the feed that I subscribed to from, I believe it was uh, last week's project, but I, I have a lot of feeds, as you can see, in my Google Reader. Um, this might be one that I had already. Um, is Smashing Magazine. I've been following them for a while. Uh, one of the things I really like about them is that they have a lot of in-depth articles, and it's really explained very well. Um, they even go, you know, you see the code for in this example where they're talking about CSS animations, uh, which is really helpful, especially because it gives you a good basis of where to start researching uh, and where to continue your education in these areas. And it's not just a short blurb. What, what I really like about uh, their RSS feed versus some others is it's not just uh, the brief summary. It is the full article in the RSS feed. So I don't really need to go elsewhere. I can see it all in one place versus some others that only show you a quick, you know, the first paragraph or whatever it is. And but this is especially nice because I have uh, applications that are that are on my iPad and my iPhone that go ahead and sync with Google Reader and they will pull down the whole feed and cache it. This way I can see it offline, which I often am since I don't have 3G on my iPad and uh, I don't have to worry about an internet connection. I mean, th this article, for example, even goes into the details of how to get the motion blur and the timing and all the these things. And if you want to really take it to the next level, a lot of the articles from Smashing Magazine will show you how to do it and explain to you how to do it. So definitely check out SmashingMagazine.com or uh, if you want to keep up to date with their stuff, I would subscribe to the feed to make sure that you're uh, on the cutting edge of CSS and this web design in general. So hope you check it out and if not you should have a really good reason because this is worth it.